Um, next, I want to do a quick recap of uh, water loss in bony fishes um, and osmoregulation in bony fishes. So we'll first look at a marine bony fish. And remember, if you're looking at a marine bony fish, for now, just concentrate right up here. The marine bony fish, what they're dealing with is they're in a hypertonic solution. So they're in salt water and there's a lot more salts dissolved in their environment than typically are in their cells. And so the big pressures that marine bony fish are dealing with are water loss through osmosis and also electrolyte gain because the water that they take in has so much salts in it. And so marine fish, they have to figure out a way to eliminate ex excess salts, but also take in lots of water because they're losing water from osmosis, okay? And what they've evolved are these things called guild chloride cells that basically help to pump excess salts out of the marine bony fish. So let's just talk about what they do and how it works. Essentially, because they have all this water loss that's constantly occurring because they're in a hypertonic environment, they need to drink and intake as much water as possible. So they drink lots of seawater. But remember that seawater also has a lot of salt in it. So they've got to take in the water from that, but they've got to eliminate all the salts that they take in with that seawater. And that's what these gill chloride cells do. So basically what happens is they'll drink a bunch of seawater, that seawater will flow through their mouths and out these gill slits over their gills. And the gills is where they'll absorb a whole bunch of water. And so they'll take in a bunch of water, um, but they'll also be eliminating a ton of salts through those gills, through these gill chloride cells. And what these do is they actively pump ions, chloride ions, out of the fish. And so it's active ion elimination of the chloride cells, but in that process they're also osmotically losing lots of water. Okay, so they're taking in water when they do that, but they're also losing water when they pump it out. And so they have this constant sort of fight of taking in enough water to balance out all the osmotic loss of water that they have. So just to reiterate, um, these chloride cells, they're actively pumping electrons or electrolytes and ions out and osmotic, there's osmotic loss of water too that's constantly occurring, okay? Now this is in contrast to freshwater fish. So in freshwater fish, they've got the opposite situation where there's water gain, so they're in a hypotonic solution. So there's fewer solutes outside in the freshwater than there are inside the cells of a freshwater bony fish. And so water osmotically is moving into the cells. And so they need to counteract that movement of water in. So the water intake is not really a big deal for them in terms of needing to drink water. They have the opposite problem where too much water is coming into their cells. And electrolyte loss is a problem. So they have more electrolytes in their cells than are outside. And so electrolytes are potentially moving out of the cells. And so they need to balance that by figuring out ways to stop the general intake of water and also stop or decrease the loss of electrolytes. And so as a result, Freshwater fish don't drink water. They don't need to drink water because they're already absorbing a bunch of water. And so instead, um, they also have these chloride cells, but the chloride cells pump things in the exact opposite direction as we see in marine fish. So they're going to be pumping electrolytes into the gill. So they're actively uptaking ions so that they're counteracting this general electrolyte loss where electrolytes are going to go from their higher concentration naturally to their lower concentration these chloride cells are counteracting that. And also, they're having this osmotic uptake of water, okay? And so, because they're gaining water, they're not drinking water, so they don't need to take on more water because they're already naturally gaining it through uh, osmosis. And they'll also have uh, a lot of really dilute urine that they, re that they produce so they can eliminate as much water as possible to counteract this osmotic gain.